Oh, is that silent, guys? Where are we? Good question. <laughs> I've never been in this part of the stadium. Believe Glamorous post-renovation room. Yeah. Um, that was a that was a good win for us. That was probably as complete a game as we've played from start to finish this year. And that's what you want to be doing in November, is you want to be hitting your stride. You want to be playing your best football. And uh, I think from halftime of the Arizona game on, I feel like we've played our best football. And so that's got to be the focus, is just continuing to build consistency, continuing to get better every single day in our preparation, and uh, try to keep winning. So, um, you know, congratulations to Brett on breaking the, the record. Um, thought he played outstanding. I thought Kaimi played great. Um, he's been kicking the ball well in practice, and, and it was really neat. I uh, was kind of contemplating what to do there at the end, and uh, his teammates talked they didn't talk me into it. His teammates just said, Coach, he will make it. Send him out there and let him kick it. He will make it. And it was just resounding. And, and I, you know, I think that kind of goes to show how they feel about Kaimi, you know, even though he struggled sometimes. So I, I appreciate that about the, the players. And uh, it was great to have Troy Aikman here tonight, you know, watching us. He's doing the Seattle game tomorrow. And, and he came out. And, uh, you know, I know Brett was aware that he was there. And, uh, of course, he's one of the all-time greats not just at UCLA but in football in general so to have him here was was really pretty special for us so it's a good win what was it about Brett's performance that was so outstanding tonight I thought he played with great certainty you know I thought that he looked extremely poised in the pocket I thought he stepped up and threw the ball well with accuracy uh, I thought the protection was outstanding I, I don't really care about the sack totals because some of those are Brett you know trying to step up and make something happen he doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage but I think there was only one sack to me that looked like you know a protection issue. Um, I thought he handed it off when he was supposed to hand it off. He ran it, was supposed to run it. He ran hard. He protected the ball, and uh, he just you know he practiced that way all week, and he performed that way tonight. You guys were able to attack the middle of the field pretty effectively. How much of that was getting Thomas back? Well, it, it, I think it has more to do just with the coverage. You know. Um, Every play has a progression. The progression is predicated on the coverage that you see. And so I think it was more just a function of the coverages we were getting rather than Thomas. But Thomas made that spectacular catch on the sidelines when you know that guy went up and almost intercepted. It fell through, and that kept the drive alive. That was a great play. Getting two weeks to prepare for USC, how's that going to help you? Uh, you know, I, I'm, my mind's not there yet. I mean, I'm just excited about winning today and winning this evening and went and excited about our players and the way they play and the way they feel about themselves and the way they've started to really show some maturity for a young team and it's just it's fun to be around them. Jim, did you change tactics a little with the Marcus Peters being out of this game? Was there no, a little bit No, we don't we don't really pay much attention to that kind of thing, you know. Um, it's kinda like, you know, we're saying it's a you you call plays, you know, and plays have progressions, whether they're runs or passes, but we really didn't we didn't change anything. I mean he was a good player but uh, it didn't matter to us. You downplayed your return here, but uh, can you just talk about what it was like to walk out on, into the stadium, a place that had so many memories for you, and put this kind of performance? I was excited about the way the UCLA Bruins played. Other than that, it was just a, it was a game. I mean, I, you know, I'm happy my mom was here and my brothers. Other than that, I really I couldn't care less. I'm happy we're eight and two. I'm excited for our players. Other than that, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Since you've been here, how good of a offensive performance was? this that you've seen? Well, I thought it was really good. I mean, we ran the ball effect. We, we, we were able to make the plays when we needed to make the plays, you know. I mean, we were, we were consistent. So I don't know what to compare it to. I just felt good about it. And I felt great about the defense, too. I thought they played very well. We, we, you know, Shaq Thompson's a heck of a runner. Although I'll say this, I don't know how you match that run that Miles had. I mean, that was, that was spectacular. Uh, but, uh, you know, they ran the ball better than we would like him to run it. Um, but he's a great player. And so we're get that fixed. Is there more of an effort to stretch the, the <coughs> you know, passing-wise just because, you know, they, it seemed like Brett, you know, in recent weeks had run a lot more than he did tonight, and this, tonight he seemed to have the opportunity to kind of air it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, you know, for Brett, it's about taking, it's this old cliche, you know, take what the defense gives you, and I'm, it's a cliche because it's true. Uh, you take what the defense gives you, and, and they were giving him throws, and, and his offensive line and his backs were doing a great job, and his receivers were getting open, so, um, it had nothing to do with them losing their corner. I don't even know when the corner got suspended. I mean, you can't change your game plan on a Thursday or Friday. You just don't do that. So it didn't It didn't matter. We just played well, you know, and that's got to be the focus, us playing well, us getting better, us building consistency, and uh, we did that today.
Was there something you guys did that worked in terms of eliminating <coughs> penalties? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we didn't have any in the first half. Yeah. Somebody alerted me to that, and it was like I almost passed out. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we. I'm sure you did. Uh, no, I mean, I just asked them last week, you know, to own it. You know, own it. Take ownership of it. It's time for it to go away, and the only way it's going to go away if they, is if the players themselves own it. And, and I think that they took it to heart. I think there was only one score that they had that you guys didn't respond to. On every other really? occasion you guys responded to that kind of a telling stat for how you guys played, especially yeah. on offense? You know, we're a resilient team. We're 6-0 and on the road this year, and uh, that's hard to do, you know. And uh, there's just a confidence that's growing on this team um, based upon some of the games that we've had to fight and struggle to win. I believe that you build confidence when you go through those tough times. You know, I think you can build some false confidence when you just blow everybody out. But real confidence, real grit, real trust, that comes when it's not easy, when it's tough, and you still get it done. And so that's what this team has. Was that as good as you've seen Fabian play this season? I don't know. I mean, I, didn't, I wasn't locked in on Fabo, but, I mean, it, uh, he played really well last week. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You talk a little bit about the offensive line and how they've come together in the last, what, four weeks. Really since Utah, you know, they played well. Uh, I think that a lot of it has to do with the fact that there's there's a consistency uh, up there in terms of who's playing where. Now tonight, obviously Malcolm didn't play; he wasn't ready. But we're able to plug Alex in there, who's you know freshman All-American and a heck of a player. Uh, but I just think since that that you know that game at Utah, they've really grown from it. You know, you you know a guy that's played outstanding is Scott Quisenberry. You know, there's just a, there's they look like they're supposed to look right now. And we've got to continue to grow. Could you tell with Miles, he was pretty amped up before this one? Especially Miles did a tremendous speeds. job of keeping his cool. Mm -hmm. Miles did a tremendous job all week of staying focused and um, not letting this atmosphere that he was about to step into uh, affect him. And I was really proud of the way he played tonight. Um, Miles is sometimes a target. And he gets emotional. And tonight he was able to play with great emotion, but he never got overly emotional. And, and to me, that's just a great step in the in the right direction for him. How uh, just have you been able to make this a business trip? You know, when the place probably holds a lot of memories for you. Because I, this is my job, and it is a business. So I'm a UCLA Bruin. See, right there. With Miles. Two more guys. Two more. Miles, was that something you talked to him before the game and just kind of let him take care of Miles? Yeah, did you just let him take care of that or did you talk no, to him? No, I mean, him? Miles, I mean, you, you talk to your players every day about everything. And, uh, I mean, I've talked to Miles about it on a number of occasions. But, uh, you know, I reminded him gently during the week. Okay, yeah. thanks, right, thanks, everyone. Guys. Thanks, guys.